اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشینٹ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل دس از انجینئر فیصل اجاز اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم پریزنٹنگ ا لیکچر آن نیچرل گیس اینڈ آلسو آئی وانٹ ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی یوٹیوب چینل آف انٹائٹل کیمیکل انجینئرنگ ایج ٹیک اینڈ آلسو آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹاپکس آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو کیمیکل انجینئرنگ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ دا ٹائٹل آف دیز ٹاپکس ایٹ بیک گراؤنڈ پیجز سو اف یو ول سبسکرائب مائی چینل دین یو ول گیٹ مائی لیٹسٹ ویڈیوز In this video, I am presenting a lecture on natural gas. It is important and interesting topic. So natural gas is also called fossil gas and it is earth cleanest burning hydrocarbon. Its combustion does not produce ash and also it is colorless, odorless and non-toxic gas. And in this video, we will discuss purification of natural gas with the help of of different purification steps and process flow diagram in available data according to first point natural gas is a mixture of paraffinics and these paraffins are alkenes and according to second point main constituent of that mixture is methane and according to third that mixture obtained from different sources and you are observing these sources in this circle uh, so uh, fermentation and natural gas and petroleum system are uh, two main sources sources about 28 percent and uh, sulfur is also present in that gas mixture and play a poisoning role in processing so its removal treatment is most important so according to first point natural gas without sulfur is called sweet gas according to second after processing that gas condensed into liquid petroleum according to third if quantity of condensate is below is uh, 15 gram per meter cube is called dry natural gas according to fourth if quantity of condensate is more than 50 milligram per meter cube then called wet natural gas and according to fifth condensate obtained during lpg called gasoline and used as a motor fuel processing of natural gas also called purification of natural gas and uh, in the natural gas mixtures uh, two main constituents are present and the first one is propane and the second one is butane and impurities are water vapors sulfur contents and low quantity of nitrogen so before entering into transmission lines above impurities must be removed so why purification of natural gas is required the first one is causes of corrosions the second is uh, transmissions line may be stopped and the third one is due to water vapors hydrates formed and uh, that hydrates may block and freeze controlling instruments and the fourth one is uh, sulfur may also cause corrosions and the fifth one is separation of sulfur is a raw material for other industries like sulfuric acid according to processing steps the first one is dehydration the second one is removal of sulfur the third one is removal of propane and butane and the fourth one is compression of natural gas and cooling and condensation according to first point dehydration of water from natural gas uh, proceed with the following method the first one is compression the second one is by dehydrating substances and the third one is by refrigeration process so in compression method firstly compressing and cooling take place and dehydrating process is used in all over the world and so different substances are used for hydration and uh, these substances are silica gel sulfuric acid glycerin calcium chloride activated alumina plus bauxite and diethyl alcohol and glycol is very efficient dehydrating agent used in all over the world 
according to step 2 removal of sulfur from natural gas and uh, to remove sulfur contents uh, with the help of different methods and uh, gribetal method uh, mostly used and in this method we use a solution of uh, monoethanol amine and if we want to remove sulfur and water at same time then we will use the solution 45 till 85% diethyl glycol with water plus methanol amine according to step 3 separation of hydrocarbons will take place and uh, in this separation propane and butane will separate with the help of pressure and we will increase pressure till 15 atm then pass through separators and two separators will be used for this purpose in the first separator gas cool till 30 centigrade and we get lpg before entering into second separator and gas cool till 0 centigrade after that more lpg separated and after second separator gas pass through expansion process and more cool down so from this we purify natural gas according to step 4 separation of nitrogen will take place and to remove nitrogen Uh, through cryogenic process in which we compress gas till 2000 psig and temperature will be negative 200 fahrenheit and then at 500 psi pressure we expand gas and nitrogen will be removed also natural gas convert into liquid state and used for fuel at the end i am presenting process flow diagram of uh, processing natural gas and recovery of lpg so you can match all the data with this diagram for your better understanding and uh, thanks to join us